Okay, in today's video, I am going to go over how to calculate the equivalent resistance for resistors in series. And this is the circuit we're going to use. We have a 12 volt battery, and we have resistor number one, resistor number two, and resistor number three, and they all come one right after the other. It's a closed loop, therefore we call those resistors in series. Okay, and this is how we do this. Not too complicated, there is a relatively simple equation we're going to use. I'm just going to give you the equation. It says that the total resistance, RT, total equivalent resistance, the total equivalent resistance is simply the sum of the resistance of the resistors. And we have three resistors. Of course, if we only had two, or one even, or more than three, we all you do is just add them all up. All the ones that are in series, add them up, it doesn't matter. And if we do that for this, we get RT, the total resistance is the sum of the first resistor, 5 ohms, plus the sum, excuse me, the resistance of the first resistor, 5 ohms, plus the resistance of the second resistor, 9 ohms, plus the resistance of the third resistor, 7 ohms, and if I did that correctly on my calculator, we get that the total resistance of those three resistors in series is 21 ohms. Okay? Now, why do we want to know the total resistance? That is an excellent question. We want to use the total resistance to find the total current. Right? We can use Ohm's law, V equals I times R. We could solve for I, and we would get that the voltage divided by the resistance will give us the current. The current is the voltage divided by the resistance. And in this case, I think you get about 0.6, maybe 0.57 amps. Okay, so in order to find the total resistance, excuse me, in order to find the total current, you first have to find the total resistance, and that is how you do that for resistors in series. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you thought that was helpful, you can give me a nice thumbs up and a nice comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.